The demands of the aquaculture sector are constantly increasing. Thus, you need reliable solutions that keep evolving and fit all your different needs. This expert talk will focus on solutions for the aquaculture industry. And joining me in the Palfinger World Tour studio for this talk are two experts. I'm very pleased to welcome Franz Schnöll. He's the sales director, Marine and Wind Cranes, and Bernd Huimer. He's area sales manager for Europe and Africa. So welcome, gentlemen. It's really good to see you both. Thanks for having us, Mariana. Thanks a lot. So I'd like to begin with maybe kind of a fundamental question. Why exactly did Palfinger get involved in the aquaculture industry to begin with? Let me give you an overview when Palfinger um, entered the, the aquaculture industry. Back in 1959, the first truck-mounted loader crane was uh, designed and manufactured. The decision to diversify the product range in the industry coverage from land to sea was felt in 1991. This was when the first custom-built uh, marine crane was uh, manufactured. Uh, this was actually uh, 30 years ago when the journey of Palfinger in, in, in the maritime industry started. So uh, the first cranes for the aquaculture industry were actually designed and manufactured only one year later in 1992, when our long-standing partner Bergen Hydraulic, our dealer for Norway, joined our team. You're right, Franz. A lot has happened since this journey has begun. In the meantime, we have delivered many thousand cranes to this challenging market and is supporting it every single day. And not only in Norway, but also in other countries like UK, Croatia, Faroe Islands, Canada, Chile, Tasmania, New Zealand, and many more. And the journey doesn't stop there. We are a leading player globally in this segment, and we believe this will, offer, this will offer us a lot of growth and opportunities going forward, mainly to the two reasons. Uh, let's have a look at the world seafood production chart. Uh, since the 1990s, the ocean fishing has stagnated. This is the main reason uh, that uh, uh, fisheries have reached unsustainable levels in many countries. Uh, in parallel, uh, the population uh, grows, grown, uh, and uh, especially the, the middle class income uh, in many countries. So the aquaculture production uh, climbed since the 1990s and has reached and has uh, surpassed the captured ocean fish in 2014. Uh, the global population is expected to grow until 2015 to 10 billion. This is actually 2 billion more as of today. So naturally, there will be a strong uh, demand for aquaculture uh, production and uh, as, a valuable, uh, as a valuable source of protein. So our cranes are a vital uh, part, a piece of equipment in this industry, and we as Palfing are committed to increase the sustainability in this industry. So a lot of people on the planet hungry for fish, and aquaculture is going to fill that uh, need. I'm just curious, Bernd, if you can maybe give our audience an overview of the different products and applications that Palfinger offers in the aquaculture sector, and also why exactly so many customers do want to choose Palfinger cranes. Sure, I'd like to. We first entered this business with smaller foldable knuckle boom cranes, which were supporting the fish farm, uh, for example, like uh, food handling, general supplies, but even also supporting the setting up and the dismantling of the fish farms. But with time, the fish farms grew bigger, and therefore also the vessel, and subsequently also the requirements on the cranes. For these work boats and service boats, our PK series offers very important advantages, like uh, increased stability, uh, increased uh, space and workload for the vessel, in combination with a maximum on outreach, safe working load, and safety for the crane. But it's not only service and work boats in this business. There is also other specialized vessels, like so-called live fish carriers or rail boats. And again, it was our close link to the customer, together with Bergen Hydraulic, which allowed us to come up with uh, yeah, proper lifting solutions. These vessels were originally planned with knuckle boom cranes, but together with our customers, we tried, tried a different approach by offering a telescopic solution. Uh, this worked out quite well, and the success story of our PTM range was born. For many applications on board these vessels, um, the telescopic boom holds certain advantages compared to a basic knuckle boom crane, 
because it's much easier for an operator to overcome a straight distance with a telescopic boom system instead of a combination of main and knuckle boom. This solution was very much appreciated by our customers and uh, we de developed it further by offering, for example, a two-winch solution, which allows more efficient hose handling. Since then, we have sold more than 150 PTM cranes and uh, the requirements are constantly evolving. And so are we. This year, we already secured eight live fish carrier projects, and on each vessel, there are several cranes on board. Among them is our biggest telescopic boom crane so far for this business, a PTM 1500 with three winches and additional features as well. Now, I would like to show you our great video showing as well the knuckle boom crane, but also the telescopic boom cranes in action. That is really some very impressive equipment. Incredible. Now we have seen in these fantastic videos uh, our cranes in action. Let me add here uh, why Palfing is perfectly positioned basically to support the ever-growing global project and supply chain needs in this industry. So it all starts in Austria where uh, sales design project management is located and where also our service experts are uh, stationed. Uh, our cranes are manufactured and factory acceptance tested in our plant in Maribor. And from there, they are delivered to the whole world. Uh, let me give you a selective example of an inter-European project. For example, we have now two sets of crane on order for two well boats. One well boat will be uh, built in, at a shipyard in Turkey. Uh, once the cranes arrive there, our partner Marsis will take over and offer with his uh, factory trained service engineers uh, professional uh, installation support and commissioning. The other set of cranes will be delivered to a shipyard in Spain, where our colleagues from Palfing Iberica will do the same, uh, uh, do professional commissioning. Uh, and both uh, well boats will be then delivered to its final job site in Norway, where our partner Bergen Hydraulic will take over and offer professional after sales support. So Bergen Hydraulic, they have all the mission critical uh, spare parts on stock. And with their service van fleet, they, they, they cover the full uh, Norwegian coastline. But this not only applies to inter-European projects. Uh, we, also, uh, we also have uh, uh, interesting uh, international projects. Uh, many of the service and work boats you need to know are meanwhile built uh, overseas uh, in Far East, mainly in China and Vietnam. Uh, we do not need to fly in our service engineers, uh, uh, which is uh, on the one hand uh, expensive and it doesn't offer too much flexibility for our customers. So we have all the major shipbuilding hubs covered by our by either uh, our own service uh, hubs with, or by partners with factory trained service engineers. So there are another interesting um, projects uh, to uh, introduce. For example, we have recently delivered two cranes to uh, be installed at a shipyard in China on a Tomcat catamaran. Our partner in, in China, Ocean Power, did commission and hand over these cranes. The vessel was then delivered uh, to a major aquaculture company uh, in Down Under in Tasmania, where then our partner, Balfinger Australia, took over and did the, uh, the service and the, the spare part supply. Uh, very interesting to mention are also projects for ships which are used in the aquaculture industry in Chile. 
we had in parallel one time three uh, projects uh, running. Uh, we delivered, for example, cranes um, to be installed on a fish feeding barge in, at a shipyard in Vietnam. At the same time, basically, we, we delivered cranes to a, to a um, work boat in China. And uh, one set of cranes was delivered exactly at the same time to a shipyard in Brazil, which uh, built it, uh, a live fish carrier. Uh, in Brazil, our very own uh, service engineers from the Rio Hub basically did the commissioning. All three vessels were delivered to Chile, uh, where, of course, uh, also after sales and service uh, is guaranteed. So that is pretty detailed overview of the products that you offer and also a quite um, amazing international footprint. But I, I would like to just know... Where do you think this business is going to go from here? Where is the future of Palfinger agriculture? Well, Mariana, we are actively following major technological developments in alternative aquaculture technologies, uh, which minimizes, for example, the environmental uh, impact and increases the sustainability of this uh, industry. You need to know that currently about 98% of the farmed fish is, is raised in so-called net pen systems, which are, which are located in sheltered and exposed inshore environment. Uh, compared to that, advanced technology concepts are, for example, land-based recirculating aquaculture systems. Then there are hybrids, where the smolt is grown on land and transported to the seaside, where it is grown to market-sized salmon. Then, um, this requires basically l larger vessels uh, in order to reduce the stress of the small fish when it's transported to the seaside. And the larger vessels, of course, need new uh, cranes with new technology. Then there are floating uh, closed containment systems. Here the water is pumped through and it is filtered. The waste is collected and then transported to land for further processing. This also, of course, needs vessels to operate and service these closed containment systems uh, in the sea. And you also need new type of vessels with new cranes on board, which transport or pick up the waste and transport it to the land for further processing. And the most interesting things, in our opinion, basically, are the offshore uh, production systems. There's a variety of different designs uh, currently under evaluation and field testing. These are, for example, open and semi-closed systems. These are floating and submerged systems, and they're fixed uh, and mobile systems. Yes, especially this last um, concept of offshore system also requires a different approach on the cranes in terms of uh, safety, regulations and also the crane setup. Here our expertise in, from other industries, like for example the oil and gas industry, offshore vessels, helps a lot. And so does our diversified crane range. But also digitalization and automa automation will get more and more important. All of this has an impact on the crane requirements. Here, the expertise from the Palfinger Group, especially also, for example, from the Cybercrane, from the previous expert talk, helps a lot. We are working on many of these concepts already at an early stage in order to support our customers with appropriate solutions and reliable and useful products. And always keeping the safety aspect on top of the priority list. One example I would also like to show you is our virtual reality solution. The specifically developed fish farming simulator allows to get an almost real feeling of operating the cranes on board a live fish carrier. It's not only fun, but it can also support the project already at an early stage by visualizing the cranes, um, for example, the different positions, and it can also be used for operator training and holds other future possibilities. In this specific case, you can operate as well the knucklebone crane, but also the two-inch telescopic crane, and you have to carry out a small mission. I really hope we soon have the possibility to invite our customers to our facility in Austria or at, to an exhibition in order to experience this uh, great simulator. All of this is why I really enjoy working in the maritime industry, because you are confronted with different demands and ideas, and you simply have to come up with appropriate solutions. Another big advantage we have as the Palfinger Group is that a lot of solutions are already available within the group and they can be used to support the different applications. We as Palfinger are very confident that we will continue to play a key role in this market and even expand our role in these developments. And we are preparing ourselves accordingly. This is our challenge and we accept it.
Well, thank you so very much, uh, Baron. Thank you also, Franz, for all of this detailed information. I know that our customers are very, very happy to have heard so much uh, interesting uh, things from both of you. Uh, do stay with us for another couple of minutes because we had a couple of questions that some of our customers sent in. Uh, and we have three this time. The first one was um, sent in from Norway. And the question is, are the product requirements the same all around the globe and who defines them? Uh, thanks for the question. Let me take this one, please. Um, Norway is still the market leader in this segment. They have a market share of more than 50%, and this will probably continue like this for a long time. So that also means the majority of the developments are coming from this country. Uh, but there is also some other country-specific needs. For example, uh, Canada, they have special regulations which apply to certain vessels. Again, here a lot helps our local footprint, either with partners like Pennycon in Canada, KJ Hydraulic in Faroe Islands, Outreach in UK, PKDO in Croatia, or our own hubs, like in Spain, Brazil, Australia, Singapore, to be very close to the customer and collect the market needs on site. Okay, thank you for that. We have another question sent in from somebody in France. And that question is, now we were talking mainly about fish farming. Are there any other activities which belong to the segment of aquaculture? Yes, I'd like to answer that one as well. Uh, yes, there definitely are. Uh, one of them is, for example, the mussel farming. We are also active in this industry. We have already sold several cranes, which are operation, in operation in Spain and in New Zealand. And it's a very interesting segment for us, because the requirements on the cranes are very similar in terms of reliability, lifetime, but also the service support and the spare parts availability. And there's other topics as well, like, for example, the seaweed production, which we might look into more closely in the future. We have one more question, um, and this one comes from somebody in Canada. And the question is, how do you see the future of aquaculture and palfinger as supplier? Mariana, let me take this one. As explained in the beginning, uh, the need of farmed fish as a valuable source of protein will increase in line with the increase in the population. So in parallel, the pressure to reduce the environmental impact uh, and also to increase the sustainability of this industry uh, is increasing. This is actually good for you and me uh, as a consumer, but especially also for Palfinger. Because uh, we believe with our track record, with our installed base in the field and with our know-how from the past, and especially with our drive to, sh uh, to shape our customers' future lifting solutions, we are perfectly positioned uh, and uh, so we're well prepared. So gentlemen, thank you so very much uh, for your time, for sharing your insights, and also for answering our questions. Franz Schnell, Sales Director, Marine and Wind Cranes, and Bernd Huimer, Area Sales Manager, Europe and Africa. Gentlemen, thank you again. Thanks a lot, Mariana. And to everybody, if you have any questions or is anything open, please do not hesitate to contact us via my email address. Thanks a lot.